Hey everybody, it is day 24, gratitude rant. What is that? Sometimes I go on these just simply because I feel so much love, so much passion, so much adoration for the gift that I am in this time and space back to myself. I sometimes am overwhelmed by the amount of love that I feel from everything, from my children, from my life, from the reason that I have been awakened to find more joy, more abundance, more love, more excitement, more energy. When we are on purpose, searching for more of the good stuff and squeeze it like we squeeze milk out of a cow or squeeze for more juiciness out of a fruit. I'm telling you that your dreams, my dreams, our dreams will come true when you can decide that, oh my gosh, I am like water flowing through flowing through this time and space, flowing through the abundance of life that I get to choose, that I get to live. What are you totally, ultimately, unapologetically grateful for today? How do you turn fear into your power? How is it that you want to live unapologetically without all of the demands of the world, of the unconditioning, of the conditions that were created with fear, with politics, with just so much stuff. What is it that you have decided to create in your life that is bigger than who you are today, that is bigger than what was possible yesterday. Today, I am grateful for the Jamile that says those stories, that life, those things that happened to that Jamile no longer is in the Jamile today that is looking at the Jamile tomorrow. When we are able to look at everything in our life as the very essence, the very thing that is created, the joy. I mean, I'm just overwhelmed. I just had to hop on here and share with you that if you are struggling, if you are tired, if you are overwhelmed, if you are thinking like, dang, was life supposed to be like this? Was I supposed to feel fear or overwhelm or anxious or just sadness all the time? Was I supposed to live in this state of like lack of thinking that there's not enough? I'm telling you all of that vibrational stuff, all of that negativity, all of that stuff is actually good because you're like, is that supposed to happen? And it happens so that we could be aware is it possible to live in a better state all the time? And yes is the answer. Yes is the answer. I am the living testimony of that. When you have set your eyes and your dreams on creating something so bad and rushing and doing and doing and doing and you get there and it's like this was it. This was it. This was all the hype that I laid myself like when I get a degree, when I get this money, when I get this car, when I get this man, when I get this, I'm going to feel a certain way. I'm going to want a certain thing. I'm going to be nicer. I'm going to give more money to people. I'm going to like when I get this in the future tense, I'm going to be better. When I relieve this stuff, I'm going to be better in the future. But what if, what if? It isn't the future things, people, or places that are going to get us happy, but it is in the nowness, in the who we came here to be, in the what is in front of me, in the water, in the bottle, in the pencil in my hand, in the glasses on my face, in the who I am alive and well and healed from every part of the disappointment of what I thought I was supposed to be. Today, 
If you want to turn fear into power, if you are ready to turn anxiety and overwhelm and too muchness and the ideas and thoughts of what we are supposed to do, sit for a minute. Take a deep breath in. And for one whole minute, say thank you. Thank you for my toilet seat. Thank you for my fork. Thank you for my counter. Thank you for my light. Thank you for my water. Thank you for my feet. Thank you that I can get up and dance. Thank you for my computer. Thank you for my chair. Thank you that I can walk and move. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my music. Thank you for my door. Thank you for where my daughter drew on there to remind me I have a daughter. Thank you for my books. Thank you for my life. Thank you for every part of everything that is around. And I guarantee if you go on a rant for one minute, up to 90 seconds. I'm telling you, you're gonna be infused with the power that is within you because you are the almighty, loving, sensual, passionate, everything that you feel was put there for real. Everything you feel, everything you want, everything you desire is already here right now. There is nothing else that we need. We need nothing but remember the joy that we are, the love that we have inside our souls. I love you guys so much. I could rant and rant and rant. And I was going to text a couple of friends because we go on rants all the time. Find you some friends that you could text and say, do you want to dance? Do you want to talk about how beautiful life is? How beautiful love is? How amazing my life is right now -ness. Find yourself that person. Find yourself that person. And if you don't have that person, I'm going to show you the person you need. I'm going to show you who it is that you actually desire. You, you desire you. You get in the mirror. You look at that person. You're like, I love you, woman. You are a powerhouse. You are worthy for all the amazing things that are in this life. You are amazing. You are glorious. You are energetic. You are loving. You are sexy. You are beautiful. You are confident. You are certain. You are a gift from the heavens through us, in us, with us. Look in the mirror and know that you are exactly where you need to be so that you can be, do, and have. I love you guys. Thank you so much, Francis. Thank you for being on here. Thank you for being alive and wanting that power within to always spark everything. I love you. See you on the flip side.